everyone. Welcome to People on Dating. My name is Willie Morales. I'm your host. And today we have a great topic, which is called, what, what did I call it? Uh, how soon is, what was it? What's the, the main topic? Hold on. Hold on. I got to look at that. I should. That when is it the right uh, time to move in together? How long before you, you move in together? Yeah, how long do you wait before you move in together? So I'm I'm a test subject. Lucy said that she's a test subject. So uh, we uh, we have at least a couple of people that uh, done this. So I want to say hello to Noel, Lissette, Jose, Lucy, and Millie. How are you guys doing today? Very good. Okay. Doing quite well. Thank you. Well, Best it's the, part of my day. Yeah, well, definitely for me too. So this is called People on Dating. If you guys are tuning in for the first time, this is a topical conversation on subjects that we either I came up with or some of my panel have come up with. And we talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, the ups and downs of relationships. And again, this is no Q&A. It's just us stating our opinions and, and, and hopefully giving advice to the next one uh, that'll seek it from us and not make the same mistakes that we have made. So uh, you can find us on YouTube called People on Dating. You can find us on Facebook, which is called People on Dating uh, YouTube show. Anyway, guys, um, I'll go first. I've, I've met someone and I think when we officially started dating, I think shortly after we moved in together and the person Anyway, let me just put the short version is it definitely didn't work out. I kept my place uptown because um, I, I said to myself, if this is going to work, then I could always give it away or rent it to someone. Um, but since it didn't work, I ended up moving back to my old place. And I realized, boy, I jumped the gun really fast. But I was heading head over heels with this I guess you could say in love with this woman that I met and a year later we like I said we started dating maybe a year later six six months to nine months later and shortly after it was official of us dating we kind of moved in together I can't give I can't remember the timeline but it was definitely less than a year and like I said I learned I I don't want to say it was a mistake because I don't want to badmouth anybody, but it was definitely too soon to, to do this. Can you say what you learned about it? Yeah. I, one of the things I learned is I, the person that I met and hung out with at the beginning wasn't the same person that I ended up living with for a while. Um, it was, it was hard to explain, I guess, because, She'd been, she's been through, she'd been through a few relationships that didn't work out. Um, so I guess she was cautious of me. Um, but I also think when I look back, I wasn't her, her type, you know, she was used to going to growing out with certain types of men. Um, and I didn't fit that criteria when I look back, why did she end up going out with me? Maybe I was a rebound. I don't know. Um, but what I learned was it wasn't the same person that I met um, when we moved forward. It was two totally different people. And I think if you're going to make that huge leap, you got to get to know that person from A to Z, whether you live together, not even if you don't live together, but just like talking and every day and trying to hang out with them as much as possible. Cause then you could see what, uh, what, as I say, you'll see someone's true colors within three to six months, if not sooner. And I think we talked about this on other episodes that sometimes you don't see uh, someone's true colors until later on because everybody wants to impress each other on how they think they, the other person wants them to be. So that's my two cents. <laughs> well, you would definitely, well, you definitely uh, took uh, a leap. Um, uh, I, I have it? a lot to say. <laughs> because having been divorced twice, yeah, um, I definitely took a leap with my second husband. <clears throat> and I've always said, since my divorce, I've always said if I lived with him, if I had known him better, I would not have married him. Um, but 
you know, and maybe, and maybe that's affecting me now in, in, in my current relationship because Renee also has been married before and we're both like so cautious about, you know, when is the right time to move in together? And we actually had a conversation today about it, which is ironic because we're having this conversation now. Yeah. So um, I, I, I think, you know, once we had that experience, like you did, Willie, it, it gives you a little bit of cold feet to do it again. You know, we're, we're, Renee and I are both like, well, we've been by ourselves for so long now that we're afraid of making, taking that next step and saying, oh my God, I miss my freedom. Oh my God, I miss my independence. Oh my God, really? Yeah, have to wash your you know dirty underwears again or whatever you know. Um, it's, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> interesting. And we're having this conversation today. Yeah. Hi. Sorry, is everybody on let's, mute? Uh, let's make sure we can hear each other. Yeah, I, I I think we can hear each other. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else? So, um, Jose, you want to chip in here? Well, I've had my uh, fair share of leaps of faith that haven't worked out. Um, <laughs> but, you know, the, the question of is, I, I don't know, the perspective for me is not a question of timing, right? I mean, uh, some people say on average that people move in after, you know, six to six months to a year. Um, I really don't know what the answer to that question is. I, I think the, the larger question I think to me is, you know, when are you ready to move in? Right? I think that that to me, I, can, I think gives a better perspective. Um, so I, I'd like to maybe perhaps change the conversation a little bit in that direction. Uh, because I, I certainly have my opinions about what makes partners ready to consider, you know, a milestone decision, right? It's like having sex for the first time. That's a big milestone, right? Or uh, when you meet parents for the first time, that's a huge milestone or your kid or the kids of the partner. It's same thing with moving in because it's, it's, a, it's a big deal. Because if God forbid, some, if, if it goes south and it doesn't work out, oh my God, you just wasted a whole lot of time You've put in a whole lot of effort that went for naught. And, you know, inevitably it might in the, even end up in a breakup where you have to go back and either find a new place to live or you got to go back to mommy and daddy's right. place. And, um, and, and I think that's so the biggest it is, thing. It's a huge deal. Yeah. And I think that's the biggest thing, Jose, because like when I did that, I kept my place. Um, and I did um, for a little while do a little Airbnb on it. So I had some type of uh you know cash coming in but when this didn't work out and when i saw where the relationship was going i said you know what i i think i definitely gotta move on um and you don't know and and, and that's the thing when is the timing right you know uh, for me it was a leap of faith but at the same time i just felt something for this woman and i didn't think things through you know what i mean uh, i didn't question it um I said, oh, wow, she wants to move in. Yeah, that, shoot, I, I'm ready. I, I, I wasn't ready. I definitely wasn't ready because, like I said, our relationship didn't expand uh, to anything more than just at the beginning. Like I said, it was maybe puppy love or something, but it didn't expand. And I, and I like I said, sooner or later, I had to move on. And lucky I kept my place because, like you said, Jose, if you give up a place and then you guys think this is it, all of a sudden, you're going to have to move in with your parents, or you're going to have to find a roommate, or, you know, who knows? I mean, if it doesn't work out, and it's your place, you, you are know, going I to have to there's... throw somebody out, right? You got to get, uh, <laughs> that's harder, getting somebody to leave. Yeah, uh, exactly. That's, that's much harder. Um, I mean, I, I, my, my sense is, I think, I think even young people have this down a little bit better now than certainly my generation did we were more flexible we would just move in move out rents were cheap who cares we managed we didn't have to move back with our parents but in this day and age where things are more expensive uh, there's more limited choices 
I think that just the way young people are marrying later, which is a form of moving in together, um, having children later than our generation did, I think they are learning possibly from the mistakes that our generation did, and they're taking their time. And I think if, I think that's the best thing that we can learn from them is there's no rush. It's not like somebody can't stay over. Do they have to move all their clothes in? Heck, you know, to make space in the closet right. for somebody is a really big deal. That's really giving up your like personal space, making space for somebody. <laughs> it's enormous. Yeah. It's enormous. Yeah. You know, and, and, and that shows your level of commitment. So if you're not ready to give up closet space, personal space, privacy, take on joint chores, it's, I say, wait, take your time because there's absolutely no rush to move in together and that, until you know that it's going to be a commitment. And that's interesting that, that you say that. It's interesting that you say that, Millie, because joint chores. Um, in, in my past relationships, that was non-existent. The chores were all on my shoulder. So that, I married two Cuban men, that was my fault. Um, that, that is definitely something that has to be discussed before making that move. Because in the Latino community, it's sort of expected for the woman to take on all those chores. And it's a lot on the woman. So it's very important to discuss those fine lines before you move into a relationship like that. And one thing you mentioned before, Willie, that you didn't think about it enough, but there's also the other side, overthinking it. No, no, I get it. Sometimes I, I people overthink that, yeah. things too much. Yeah, no, I, I So it's a fine balance. It's a fine balance, yeah. but like Jose said, there's there's gotta be a timing somewhere, you know. And Millie said it she hit her on the head mm -hmm. where do we need to move in, you know, let's take our time. Let's get to make sure that right. we're we're in this together for the long haul. Right. Um, and if you're not, then mm -hmm. all of a sudden, like Jose said, you gotta scramble to get out. If it's your place, then you know what? Now all right, is she's gonna leave or is he gonna leave? Right. You know, so that that could definitely right. get messy, you know. And I think um just discussing it and the pros and cons, make a list of the pros and cons. Okay, if I move in mm -hmm. with her, then this is I could I could save on this, I could take care of this, I could put this away, whatever. Right. I think that's gonna right. have to happen in the future, whoever it may be the pros and cons, you know, make that list, the good and the bad. This, this is what's going to happen. So I don't know. I, I just think right. it's a learning experience. And, and I, I know, Lucy, uh, you said in our previous text that you're also a subject matter. So if you could talk more about what you went through, if you don't mind. <laughs> well, I'm actually, um, I was out of context because I'm actually a subject matter in progress. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's okay. That's a, it, but see, now you live in it now. <laughs> yeah, I'm like in the midst of it, in the mud of it, where uh, <laughs> me and my partner have been together for two years and we thought we were ready to really make that leap in all aspects and i think like a little bit about what everybody has touched on um willie like you said you think you know the person and you know or they behave a certain way um you don't you know you're not as transparent until you're forced to be until kind of like um you're you're you know when you're in the same room sharing it day in and day out. And then that's when you're like forced to be more transparent than ever before. And that's when we bumped up against a lot. And then we decided, okay, we're not ready right now. We need to like take more time. And, you know, we are, we both chose to expand our, um, our way of thinking and our way of relating to each other, you know, like um, full disclosure, I'm now taking co CODA classes. I don't know if you know about that. That's about being in a relationship and um, 
learning to be in a relationship and, and listening and talking and um, uh, oh, CODA is actually for codependency. And oh, okay. I didn't think I was codependent. And I found out there a lot of there were a lot of things that were coming up for me that I discovered I am codependent. I didn't even know what that meant. But I am now in the conversation and you know, things have shift are shifting for us, but that doesn't mean that we're gonna jump into it again. We really need to um explore this and revisit what our desires are and how that would reunite us and then also um i don't like out of this experience i don't think that there is a perfect timing for it i think that kind of what lisette touched on you know who does the chores um how are your eating habits different from his because for me it definitely impacts because i eat very healthy and he does drive-throughs so um you know it just it, one has to accommodate you know one has to kind of like give in for the other but i can't do that because i'm going to get sick so there's some things that you really have to learn to live with well i think when it comes to 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 healthy eating and living i mean definitely you no one needs to compromise on that that's the other person because if you're eating healthy and you're exercising and the other guy or where or the other girl is eating fast food and and running maybe once a month and that might be across the street just to be traffic to get coffee. <laughs> and to get coffee and a cigarette you know the 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 best nutritional breakfast on the planet coffee and and uh and a cigarette <laughs> Um, okay, but can I tell you what that looked like in our relationship yeah. because of my special eating habits? Um, so uh, I was the one doing all the cooking, exactly what Lisette was talking about, right. you know, and I didn't, even though I had to, but I would, in, in my world, I would like cook once a week to have several meals, but now living with someone, you have to share it with them. So now you're, now I've indirectly taken on all the cooking which is very overwhelming for me and it's not what I signed up for. So, right. you know, it's about working those little things out mm -hmm. as well, oh, yeah. as, long, as well as all the other things that you need to work out. No, no. Um, you know, total transparency, being comfortable with each other, all of that. Yeah, no, that definitely comes with the territory, uh, especially about, you know, um, being transparent and getting to know each other. Uh, welcome to people on dating. Today's uh, topic, it seems like a hot button. Uh, you know, how long before you move in together? You know, do you move in together? You meet on Monday and by Tuesday, you guys are living together? <laughs> or you meet on Monday and then a year from Monday, you move in together. So anyway, uh, we're waiting to hear from Noel. Noel, what's up? No, well, I think you are mute. Can you hear uh, me now? You go. Yeah, I can hear you now. Hello. Hello. Noel, you're muted. Okay. Yeah, no, she's got to hear now. So, Noel, um, put your uh, sense into this topic of how long do you wait before you move in together? What, what, what's your take on it? Um, well, like I say, every time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very gray. And I, I will say this, and I'm like, I'm not saying this is a joke. I mean this honestly. I was with somebody for 24 years, and there were so many aspects about him I did not know. Um, I can't say a double life, but yeah, there was a lot of stuff I did not know. So, you know, anytime I hear, oh, they, you know, because my mom, for example, my mom's like, you don't know somebody until two years. After two years, you really know who they are. I'm like, mom, I was with somebody for 24 years, and I didn't know who they were. So, again, I'm very like, if it feels right, just do it. If it doesn't work out, move out. Well, you're definitely more liberal than all of us, which is good. I think, <laughs> it, 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 no, you know, I, and, and I'm not saying that, you know, to, to obviously to get on the well, but um, you have such a take on it where if it doesn't work out, you just move on. Um, I felt that way during the relationship and then when i got when i got out you know I, I started looking back and i started like thinking like what could i have done differently and one of the things that um for me personally is i i'll what's the word how can i phrase it i could listen to someone speak about themselves 
but do I really hear it? Um, and I've been through that where I've listened, but then I, I didn't hear what they were saying. And then I realized, oh my God, this person said these things and I didn't catch it the first time. I, I caught it afterwards. So after the relationship was over, after we broke up, um, I'm like, oh my God, you know, this, all the signs were there that I shouldn't have moved in. I should have just stayed where I was, you know, and say, hey, let's give it some time. Let's get to know each other a little bit better before we actually take this leap. I think in my case, I, I, I've gotten a lot better with this. For the longest time, I always said my tombstone's going to say, Noel, what if? Because I live <laughs> in a what if world. What if I had done? I had, what if? You know, so there's so many things now I try to be. Um, like you said, liberal, again, I'm not living with anybody, but I just feel, um, with certain things, if it feels right, do it. What if, what if I had given it a chance that might have been, you know, the relationship of my life or, wow, that would have been a lot of fun stories to tell about later on in life, you know, type of thing. No, no, I, 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 I understand perfectly clear. I'm, we're talking with Jose, Lissette, Lucy, Milagros, and Noel, and, uh, the topic of the day is how long do you wait before you move in together? Uh, this is people on dating. Jose, going back to you from a man's point of view, another man's point of view, have any type of, any type of, if, has this come up in a conversation with you and, 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 a, and a loved one where you might have said, mm, you know what, let's wait a little while longer before we take this leap? Or did you, you know, I don't want to say make the same mistake, but did you take that leap? Jose, did you hear me? Oh, Jose is frozen. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't want to answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I, no, you were breaking up. No, no, you were breaking up, so I didn't hear the latter part of the, your question. I caught the beginning of it. But, uh, you know, I want to go back to something Millie said, <clears throat> because I, I agree with and I guess I'm kind of old school is that you know, you're know you not moving in with somebody because it's convenient to do so, right? Because that's an easy decision, right? Oh, my lease is up, you know, and I need a place right. to stay. My, I've been dating my girlfriend for four months. You know, we'll share expenses, we'll share the rent. See, that's, right. that's, that's not gonna work. No. Because again, you haven't no. really discovered, you know, what is gonna make this moving in work, right? So it can't be based on convenience. It has to be based on a commitment and the notion of moving in, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, I'm old school, but I thought that the notion of moving in was because you're building a relationship and you're committed to the long-term uh, mm -hmm. goals that you are established in this relationship. Yeah. So again, I go back to my original point, which is you got to know what is going to make you ready to move in with someone, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to discuss with your partner. If we're going to move in, are we going to be exclusive partners? You know, is it going to be Jose and Ida? Are we the ones who are going to be constantly on each other? Or are you going to be in a platonic relationship with me even though we're moving together? you got to discuss that. you got to be able to say, look, what is it that we're doing as a couple? Are, are we only dating for the next two months because we, we, cause we love the sex? Or are we going to be able to establish an immoral motivation for living mm -hmm. together, which is to say, you know, honey, the reason why I will move in with you is because I want to see you every night. I want to see you in your chancletas. I want to see you in your rollers. I want to see you in your banda. And that's what's going to turn me on, right? That's emotional motivation. That's I want to see the real. I want to see the real you. Yeah, I get you, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> But no, but to, but to, but to, but to complete, but to answer your question, I have a loved one, and we've discussed it. And right now, she's very comfortable in her space. I'm comfortable in my space, and we share exclusively her space, and she shares my space. And it seems to be working, and we're going to continue doing that because it's working, right? At some point, perhaps in the future if we decide that perhaps we're going to live, build a longer term commitment, we'll, we'll, we'll consider other options. But for mm -hmm. now, we're okay where we are. 
Well, the main topic is, yeah, just that, that open communication and just talking, you know, this is what we got to do. This is what we want to do. Because if you can't do that, then there's no, there's no sense, you know, and that's a, and that's a lesson that we all need uh, to follow is just have that conversation at the beginning before you, is this, mm -hmm. are we just roommates or is this going to be more than just roommates? So I don't know. I, I, I think this is, uh, this is, this is going to probably take to a part two, three, and four. <laughs> and by the way, Willie, uh, one, one other point, thing that you don't have to both be on the same page, by the way. Say it again. About, you don't have to both be on the same page as far as uh, do we make this a long term commitment, right? What you need to know is what page is that person on and do you agree with it? Are you okay with it? Right. I mean, that's, I think, a better point. Anyway, so I just want to finish on that. No, no, that's good. That's a good one. Let's say you were going to say something. Yes, I was going to say that living together with somebody in the daily routine is totally different than when you are dating someone and you get together on the weekends. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, the yeah. daily routine looks different than Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Absolutely. You yeah. know, and that was one thing that I discussed with Renee today because. <clears throat> You know, I think the next move for us will be for him to spend more time at my house during the week, as opposed to uh, just on the weekends when he comes over. We're like, all right, what are we doing this weekend? Where are we going? What, you know, how much fun are we going to have? The daily routine is the working from home or having to go and commute, having to get home, making dinner. Who's going to do the laundry? Who's going to do this? Who's going to do that? You get home first. You start dinner. You, you, you know, that's the daily routine that you have to mesh with mm -hmm. in order to determine whether moving together permanently is, is, a good, is a good thing or not. Yeah, no, that's I a good point. No, that's a good point. That's a good point. Anybody else uh, have anything to say? Because this is, uh, you know, this is a, this is a subject that's very serious. Well, well I, I guess I, I have a question. Yeah. I have a question for Lisette. Lisette, so if if Renee's not the type to cook or do laundry, would, would you if he's if if the if the consideration is to move together, is your expectation that you're going to change him to do these things once what because now no, that we're I, together? No, I know you just, can't you can't teach an old dog a new trick. He knows how to do laundry. He just <laughs> does it his way. <laughs> I do it my way. So he'll do his laundry. I'll do my. Gotcha. So, so there's no split. There's no sharing you know, there. He's he's very used to going out to eat every day. Oof. Right. Yeah. He, he, that's that's yeah, tough. So yeah. So I don't know. I, I can Same teach him here. how to make rice in the rice cooker. <laughs> you know. Uh, I can teach him how to prepare salads. You know, it's a start. It's I a start. I can teach him maybe how to season the chicken bread, but but you know he's not going to make uh, fricasse de pollo, and he's not going to make picadillo, and he's not going to make carne <laughs> copa. So you know, I I, I know that. So right. there there'll be. And from and, time and to time, I'll do this also. Pizza. If I do the cooking, you you do the cleaning. Yeah. Right, and that's okay. Maybe I want a pizza Friday night, pizza night. Yeah, you do, do tonight cleaning, and the movie maybe night. You do all the cleanup. Yeah. You know, that's that's my deal. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my deal with my 20 year old. I cook, you clean up. When, when I'm done with dinner, I want to be able to get up from the table and go take my shower, watch a little TV, read a book, do whatever. So my, my son cleans up. He has he has no problems doing that. So I kind of expect the older adult male to do the same. <laughs> Yeah, no, I understand. Listen, you clean guys, up then if you cook. We're we're running out of time, so before I let you guys go, if you guys starting with Lucy and ending with Noel, um, one tip you, if you could come up with, if you could think of one, uh, before you move in together, what would be that tip? Like, if you guys are discussing it, it would be was there something before that step before you take that leap? Jose, what do you think? 
Well, uh, know that you're going to lose your independence, right? Because when you move together, you're not going to have it. <laughs> right. Fair enough. Lucy? Um, I would check in with your happiness. So are you happy in your own skin? Is that person happy in their own skin? Um, and also, you know, why are you moving in as... Jose mentioned earlier, you know, is it an agenda or if not, why are you moving in together? Fair enough. Um, Millie? <clears throat> Millie, you're on mute. Muted. Millie, you're on mute. You're muted. Well, I'm mute. Okay, I'm unmuting now. Okay. It's the concept of, for me, that it's a prelude to a long term commitment and not somebody who's in it because they need the real estate. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it, it's a step in a commitment, not something that is just a, a convenience as someone else said. I got you. Noel? Noel, you're on mute, okay. okay now, I would say more than anything, they're not going to change, so don't think Oh, when we move in together, I'll feel bad, or either I can be okay with it. That said, he can do his laundry, I do mine, but don't think when they move in, he has to wash clothes properly, or whatever the case is. It's not going to change. I gotcha. <laughs> Good point. And Lissette, what's your last word? Well, you definitely have to have a vision for the future that is in sync you know you need to have the same goals for the future uh for your future together and one other very important thing that i touched upon today with Renee also he needs a man cave and i need a she shed <laughs> <laughs> well that definitely so works we can each go when we need our own little fight we can each go to our little corner and chill out and, and, and have some space from each other. No, I, that's good. I mean, my, my two cents would be definitely speak, speak before you take that leap, get to know that person. And like Jose said, and Lucy said, all you guys said, what's the agenda? What are we, what are we doing here? What's the goal of, of us moving in together? So anyway, guys, I want to thank Lucy, Jose, Lissette, Milagros and Noel for being on People on Dating. You can find us on YouTube, People on Dating. You can go to Facebook and look for us there on People on Dating YouTube show. Anyway, guys, on behalf of, of the panel, I'm Willie Morales. Until next time, thanks, everybody. Have a great day, and please stay safe. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. It was fun. Bye-bye. Every night. Thank you. So what did you guys think about today's topic? Is it controversial? Is it something that you need to talk about with your partner before you move in together? How soon is it to move in together? When do you move in together? Anyway, guys, I want to thank you uh, for tuning in. I want to thank my guests, Lissette, Millie, Lucy, Noel, and Jose for being on. And we had this deep discussion. I thought this was very interesting. Uh, if you guys want to be a guest on the show, please go to peopleondating at gmail.com. Leave your comments below also on YouTube. Please let us know what you think about today's topic. Also, please go to our Facebook uh, group, People on Dating YouTube Show. And please join us, have a discussion, be a part of the community. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you so much for listening in. My name is Willie Morales. Until next time, thanks, everybody. Have a great day, and please stay safe. Bye.